हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ज्योमेट्रिक कंस्ट्रक्शन आई होप योर इंस्ट्रूमेंट बॉक्स इज विथ यू एंड यू आर नाउ एक्सपर्ट इन ड्रॉइंग ऑल द बेसिक फिगर्स और ऑल द बेसिक कंस्ट्रक्शन यू आर एक्सपर्ट दैट इज आई एम कंसिडरिंग ओके नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर टू लर्न ओनली टू थिंग्स वन इज द सकम सर्कल of a triangle and in circle of a triangle in this case circum circle circum circle c and in circle i just remember two words the first word is personal computer pc and second word is artificial intelligence both the words are very familiar to you AI C is your C is circum circle your I is in circle your P is perpendicular bisector and your A is angle bisector okay so whenever the triangle is there if you draw the perpendicular bisector of any two sides the point of intersection of those two perpendicular bisectors of two sides will be the center of this circum circle and whenever you draw two angle bisectors of any two angles of your given triangle the point of intersection will be the center point of the in circle now what is circum circle and what is in circle first of all circum circle is a circle which pass through all three vertices of a triangle if triangle is there then the circle passing through all three vertices is your circum circle okay circumference your triangle will be on the circumference of this circle in case of in circle the circle which touches all three sides touches touches all three sides is your in circle that means this circle now my circle don't look like a circle but your circle should be should touch all three sides from inside this is your in circle this is your circum circle in circle inside in the triangle okay so just remember two words personal computer pc perpendicular bisector circum circle artificial intelligence ai angle bisector in circle okay so just this is in this topic now how to draw this we will see but just tell me what is the use of this in your uh, daily life or in your life in practical what is the use of this it is useful suppose there is a village and they want to draw a say tower there are three houses or three government buildings and government want to draw a tower exactly at the center of these three buildings equidistance from these three buildings so they will draw the on the paper and take a proper measurements they will draw circum circle so the center point will be exactly at equal distance from these three points and suppose there are three roads and they want to draw some tower or build some tower something like that at a which will be equidistance from the all three roads so they will draw in circle so your center point will be equidistance from all three roads there are other uses of this too okay many practical uses of this but first of all you should be able to draw it on the paper so whenever you want to draw a circum circle to any triangle the first step is draw triangle okay and then perpendicular bisector take any two sides 
drop open to bisector to these two sides the point of intersection is your center of the circumcircle now the here the main figure is your triangle and circle so whenever you are drawing perpendicular bisector whatever the arcs you will draw and whatever these lines you will draw should be lighter than your main figure okay you can draw the third perpendicular bisector also so that it will be very sure that all three lines intersect in a single point many time it happens that while drawing the figure in the exam your paper shifts and then your three lines don't intersect in a single point so best draw any two perpendicular bisectors take that point and manipulate that point manipulate that third perpendicular bisector okay make sure it passes through that point only so let us solve a few examples on this and then we'll go to 3.1 let us see one example draw circumcircle of a triangle def in which de is 5.2 cm d is angle d is 50 degrees angle e is 75 degrees two angles and one side is given very simple to draw this triangle how you will draw this first of all draw the base line that is de is 5.2 this is your de is 5.2 now whenever you are drawing in exam first don't write this 5.2 etc because it may interfere with your construction lines but at the end don't forget to show all the measurements whatever they are given on the paper okay now angle d is 50 degrees so you draw angle d some 50 degrees bigger line angle e is 75 degrees so the point of intersection will be f this is 50 degrees this is 75 degrees and the triangle is drawn okay here you have to show the arrows because you are drawn the rays and the point of intersection of these two rays is point f or the vertex is f now you have to draw the circumcircle to this we remember pc perpendicular bisector to any two sides so i will draw perpendicular bisector to this side de and one of this side so once you draw the perpendicular bisector and perpendicular bisector to this line so you will get one point of intersection which will be o center of your circle okay now in compass take distance to any vertices and check whether that distance is really equidistant from all these three vertices or not because this is the radius of your circumcircle and then draw take this much distance in compass and then draw a circle again my circle is does not look like a circle but i am showing you or telling you how to draw this take a compass take this measurement pointer at o point at o and then draw circle so this is how simple to draw the circumcircle is okay you know how to draw the bisectors perpendicular bisectors to any line segment now do not rub the lines don't rub the lines okay construction lines must be there and that is why you have to draw the all the construction lines lighter than your main figure those should be barely visible but examiner should see that this construction is done okay you are not done this circumcircle by manipulating the center okay so this is very easy let us see how to draw the in circle now draw the in circle of triangle xyz such that xy is 6.1 yz is 5.7 and xyz angle xyz is 65 degrees first of all we'll draw the rough figure here okay so we will draw xyz first so this is x y and z they are given now whenever it is not very 
Now, whenever some construction is there, first draw a rough figure. Okay, and only then start drawing the final figure. So here they are given x y 6.1, 6.1, then uh, y z is 5.7, 5.7, and angle x y z is 65 degrees. This angle is 65 degrees. Now first of all, you have to draw this triangle. How will you draw? Very easy. First draw x y 6.1. Then from Y, keep a protractor and major angle 65 degrees from this side, clockwise angle 65 degrees. Draw a complete ray of 65 degree. Okay. And now they said that YZ is 5.7. So in your compass, take 5.7 distance, make arc on this ray. So you will get the point of intersection that is z so this arc will give you z joint xz and your triangle is constructed correct so the triangle is done now now what you have to do once you draw this triangle you can draw the angle bisector for in circle artificial intelligence ai so angle bisector for in circle so you draw the angle bisector of these two base angles enough Correct? You know how to draw the angle bisector for this. Only for sample example, I am showing you. Take a compass, put here, make an arc from this, make an arc two sides, and you will get the angle bisector for this angle. Then you have to draw the angle bisector for this angle. So you will get one point of intersection here. You have to show all the construction lines. Do not erase the construction lines. Okay, so now you got the point. This is the center of the in circle. But I have already explained you that this point is equidistant from these three sides. That equidistance, that distance is always a perpendicular distance. Okay, so you have to take any perpendicular distance from any side. That means what you have to do? take any side let us say the base I am taking to this XY I will draw a perpendicular which is passing through this O point outside the line so you will draw a perpendicular to XY through O do not rub these construction lines also now this is your suppose point M. So this OM is your radius now. So in a compass, take a distance OM, put your pointer on O and draw a complete in circle. And just right there, radius is OM. Don't look at my figure only. Just remember my explanation. Pay attention to my explanation. I am not using any instruments here. Okay. I could have shown you on the paper where the camera is focused on the paper. Only my hand is visible. But in that way, if you cannot see my face, you will not able to understand this properly. So I am showing it here by hands. Okay. So, first of all, draw two angle bisectors from the point of intersection draw a perpendicular on any side I don't say that you must draw on the base but drawing perpendicular on the base is easier this is what we generally do and then take this distance as a radius draw a circle that will be your in circle so this topic one was very simple now in fact the whole chapter is simple but here your accuracy of drawing the figure is of prime importance. Okay, fine lines, exact points, give the proper points, give the proper names, and your figure is complete. Okay, don't give any chance to examiner to cut your marks. Even write that, even measure this distance. Right there, OM is the radius. Radius equal to so and so, and this is the in circle. So don't give 
any chance to examiner to cut your marks. Now one thing I want to tell you that your rough figure, when you are drawing your rough figure, don't try to draw exact rough figure. Okay? Your rough figure may look something different and your final figure, actually constructed figure may look a little bit different. Depends whether the triangle is the obtuse angle triangle or acute angle triangle or it is isosceles triangle or it is a equilateral triangle doesn't matter doesn't matter at all where your point of the circum circle in circle lies forget about it it can lie anywhere so just follow your construction if your method is perfect your final figure will be perfect okay so friends here we are finishing this topic one for the circum circle and in circle so based on this we are going to solve the exercise 3.1 so let us start exercise 3.1 be prepared be ready with your instrument box and your notebooks okay thank you very much